Health experts and diplomats are preparing for days of tense talks with the World Health Assembly, which starts in a few hours' time. The annual meeting is the governing body of the World Health Organization and should be focused on combating the coronavirus. But disputes between global rivals are threatening to overshadow the assembly. It's being hosted at the WHO in Geneva, but will largely take place online. The U.S. is again expected to attack the organization and its leadership, which it accuses of being too lenient on China. The U.S. has also been pushing for the WHO to end its exclusion of Taiwan. China, which claims Taiwan is its territory, has been blocking its participation for several years. Now, that means that one of the countries that's been most successful at combating the coronavirus pandemic won't have a seat at the table. Taiwan responded quickly to the outbreak and has suffered relatively few infections and deaths. We have this report now from the capital, Taipei. No lockdown of any kind. Despite its proximity to China, Taiwan is one of the few spots on Earth where life has continued close to normal throughout the pandemic. With only a few hundred coronavirus infections and less than 10 deaths, Taiwan's handling of the crisis is a unique success story. All the more surprising that the WHO doesn't seem to be interested in Taiwan's approach. The organization blocked Taiwan from taking part in its annual meeting several years ago under pressure from Beijing. That has deprived the island of access to crucial information about the virus. We were successful, yes. But without that platform, it was very hard. Like, we don't have many serious cases. So treatment modalities, protocols for serious cases are lacking in Taiwan. We need to stop this kind of political rhetoric. We need to hold on to the more important issues, like health of everyone involved. Dr. Liu used to be a delegate to the WHO when Taiwan was still allowed to attend the assembly as an observer. But that ended on Beijing's behest, when Taiwan's president from the pro-independence party took office four years ago. China claims the island as its own territory and therefore deems Taiwan has no right to WHO membership. Politics should be set aside when it comes to health issues. It's good for Taiwan to share its experience with the world. Taiwan has made a contribution to public health. It's unfair to be excluded. Taiwan has maintained its infection rate lower than almost anywhere else with zero domestic infections for over a month. Even so, the Taiwanese haven't let their guard down. Perhaps this is one of the things the world and the WHO could learn from this island. And let's get more. We are joined by Dr. Daniel Liu, the former Taiwanese delegate to the WHO, who was also featured in that report. He joins us from Taipei. Welcome to the program, and thank you so much for being with us. Why is it so important for Taiwan to once again have a seat at the WHO's top table? Yes, uh, good afternoon from Taipei. And thank you for this opportunity for me to speak up a little bit for our compatriots and, and our health. It's so important for us to go to WHO, not just for this epidemic alone. The pandemic is devastating for a lot of people. We were scared and we were very uh, an, uh, anxious, but we managed so far. But WHO provides not only for the infectious diseases, it provides all the, all the issues, the platform for all the public health issues. It, it's just not fair for us to to go into the blind and do it the, the, the work all by ourselves without without collaboration and and, and help from uh, each other in the international stage. And given the ongoing geopolitical tensions, you know, we mentioned um, that yes. you are excluded as a member, so that's, that is part of that. How confident are you, therefore, that the WHO will be able to reach a consensus on the ultimate goal, which is tackling this pandemic? Uh, for the public health alone, we are confident that this issue is being addressed, will be addressed quite um, uh, uh, co uh, concordantly. This uh, is affecting the life of everybody. 
but we are so also afraid that political issues being raised by certain members of WHO might make this uh, approach for public health uh, quite tedious to tackle. So what is your message then to the WHO and, and those certain members that you've referenced? <laughs> um, is that we need to look beyond the politics. The health is actually more important than anything else. Without looking at the health uh, at more fundament, as a more fundamental human right, just like other uh, uh, right to live, right to better living, uh, right to uh, um, better livelihood, right to better economy. Everything has been considered in, under this international uh, 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 fam big family. It sh sh should be in front, up front, not politics. We, our colleagues and us, have been trying very hard not to put political issue ahead of ahead of this request to be involved with the, with with fellow uh, public health and the uh, uh, health workers in the world. It, it, if every time we need to compromise politics and compromise in, in this agenda to succumb to their demand, I, I don't think it's not fair at all. We, right. we humbly request a space for us to chat and work together for help. Well, we thank you so much for joining us um, to share that perspective. Dr. Daniel Liu, former Taiwanese delegate to the WHO. We appreciate it. Thank you very much.